All right, it's your girl Kia from Worldviews, and I'm here to tell you how you can start your business in Kenya through our local company, Views of Africa. So we're here on our main page, Worldviews. Click the business tab. Once you click the business tab, it will redirect you to our Views of Africa page. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find our Views of Africa Business Center. We offer three standard business packages. We have our Deluxe, Royal, and VIP. Sunny Bonani, Unjani, Makadi, hello everyone, welcome back to another broadcast of the African Diaspora News Channel with me, your host, Maritawana, aka Wakahontas, Sitole Imali. If you're just joining us for the first time, you are most definitely welcome. Please do not hesitate to like, share, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell for more content. Now today I actually have very good news. The President of Benin Republic, President Patrice Talon opened an exhibition of historic artworks returned by France last year in November, nearly 130 years after being stolen from the Dahomey Kingdom. Now, the 26 pieces, some considered sacred in Benin, will be displayed at the presidential palace at, in Cotonou. Now, the return of artifacts by France comes as calls grow in Africa for Western countries to hand back colonial spoils from their museums and private collections. Now, the countries Britain, Belgium, and the Netherlands, and Germany as well, have received requests from African uh, countries to return their lost treasures, which I believe is actually very, very rare. Uh, while Nigerians hailed the return of the two bronze artworks to Benin City, a museum will be built to house the, lucid, the looted artifacts. The 26 pieces returned last year after two years of negotiations between Paris and Cotonou were stolen in 1892 by French colonial forces from Abomey, uh, in the capital of the former Dahomey Kingdom, located in south of Art modern today uh, Benin. Now this exhibition, according to President Talon, this exhibition equals pride and faith in what we once were, in what we are, and in what will be. He also says that the exhibits were finally returning home and had broken a taboo and paved the way for more such rep repatriations. Now, personally, of course, I definitely do believe that this is a very uh, um, a good thing for uh, the Benin Republic. And um, of course, I do hope that these are not fake artifacts because there have been reports in the past of fake artifacts being returned to certain African countries from Europe. Um, please do, of course, let us know what you think in the comment section. And of course, do follow us on social media. We are at Af at AFR Diaspora News on Twitter, that is AFR Diaspora News, as well as Instagram, African Diaspora News Channel, and Facebook, African Diaspora News Channel as well. You can also follow me, Mari Tawana, on Twitter at Ndini Actress. I also have my own YouTube channel, which is DJ Wokohontas from House of Stones. That is DJ Wokohontas from House of Stones, where I talk about relationships, social issues, black empowerment, and so much more. From me and the team, it's bye for now. Cheers.